so you all see websites very colorful correct and every website is different correct it's not the same so when it comes to word document you see it all being the same excel sheet is always the same but when it comes to websites they are all different they look different right so websites are built in html it's a hyper text markup language hypertext markup language the web pages are combination of several html tags okay several html tags so we'll see how the web pages are built we'll take an example okay So uh, this is the editor, HTML editor or maybe for any code editing you can use this. So for Windows you can use uh, Notepad++. Okay, so they'll suggest, they'll suggest you, uh, the, if you're typing the opening tag, they'll automatically the closing tag will come. Okay. So I'm just, uh, since, since my computer is completely wiped out and I'm, I have to install some of this. Okay, yeah. So coming back, meanwhile it installs. The web pages are built in HTML, hypertext markup language. The web pages are combination of several HTML tags. So HTML tags are the simple commands in hypertext markup language in hypertext in hypertext markup language which has both the opening which compulsory uh, opening and closing tags yeah so for, for every tag for every tag so we can write it as for every tag or command there is a for every command there is a opening and closing tag okay opening and closing tag so HTML starts this way so for example always it starts with the starts with HTML and HTML and ends with slash HTML this is closing tag okay so the closing tag will have an additional forward slash forward slash correct the opening tag the opening tag will not have the forward slash right right so this is how the opening tags and closing tags so the html comprises the html comprises two parts one is head section and another one is body section correct so head section usually holds all the information usually holds all the usually holds all the information for the browsers, bots, search engines and uh, site level CSS or JS. Usually the external CSS files and external js files we'll discuss what is the cs and jss as well okay yeah so body section so head section will be always 
it will have a opening tag head and it will have a closing tag head okay this is in this there will be commands to the search engine so for example you see here dm training class notes so how is this coming that's coming because in the head section there is something called as title title is this is a test title okay or maybe instead of test title this is a title for the dm training class about the about the html basics okay so whatever you put here shows up here right so the same also shows up on the google as well so for example you do site colon something like this see what you see here it's basically what you have put in the head title of your web page slash title this is not clash here that's anchor tag okay so same way if you look at this there is a description as well correct correct so there will be a description tag see usually this information is for search engines this won't be visible on the web page see if you look at this do you see anywhere this information ignite your potential with premium hub for learning and growth we believe in empowering individuals to unleash the true potential so do you see that text anywhere here you will not see because that will be in the head section so your html page will be something like this okay so here you see title here it is title ignite your okay so same way next you will have the description as well here is the description unleash your potential with the ultimate so you can write your description this way so slash sorry description so you will be writing so this is the place or section where the page meta description this is not just description meta content equal to description something like that so look at this how it is meta description meta equal to in double quotes description content equal to and then the content has been updated meta equal to yes yeah as a digital marketer you don't have to write any html tags i have to show this so that you understand the basics as well so that you understand uh, the next next concepts very well See, first thing you are not going to write any HTML tags. We'll understand that as well. How do we understand if there is any issue with the HTML? Okay. So meta equal to for now you just remember meta equal to description. Right? Description and content equal to you will be writing it just this way. Okay. Meta equal to description in double quotes. Content. equal to meta description is updated okay this is how <coughs> like this there can be different tags n number of tags based on the purpose or usage correct correct so it's completely your choice so the mainly in the head section these two are compulsory if you are optimizing see website developers will keep this empty because they don't care uh, what has to be shown on google and all see for them they only care what is seen by people who land the website they care only from here from here left to top to the right bottom whatever goes in here up to here end of the page the developers consider and that all goes in the body section of the html okay so body section will be written like this body and slash body so within these tags 
your complete web page code this complete web page top to bottom whatever you see the complete code so here you could see that here yeah so here starting from here you see so that is the slash body the closing tag so so much so now you see how it is looking this is looking so simple easy colorful right and look at the complexity involved in building it it's actually not complex if you understand how this is built yes not HTML it's a combination of HTML CSS and JavaScript okay so I'll tell you I'll, I'll show you how it looks like we'll discuss and you understand better about it so in the body section you will be always writing so for example p tag paragraph tag or maybe heading tag i'll show you that one as well so body in body all the information that you want to display goes here so maybe i'll start with the heading tag so this is the page heading the test page maybe i'll write it like this the test page see to communicate this test page you have to write so much html this head section HTML let me show it to you let me pull it this to a different uh, so we downloaded we downloaded the So, so meanwhile I'll format it all here. So head section, head close, body section, body section. I don't have to write body like that. Uh, paragraph. This is any piece of information that you want to have on your web page displayed to your displayed to your audiences visiting your website I'm just randomly typing some information okay so body is closed and the HTML this one also will be closed so let's copy this brackets File new. Okay. So file save as. It has to be always a HTML page has to be saved as dot HTML. Save as test dot HTML. So we'll save this in downloads. Okay. Look at this how it's looking. Okay, it's saved. So let me go to the downloads and open this in the so look at this you have put so much tags and this is what is getting displayed so this is your HTML page this is your web page now if you upload it to a website abc.com you will be uploading this test.html usually will be saved as index.html you will be uploading and this is your website your website looks like this only okay so if you want your website basically looks like a word document have you seen wikipedia pages how they will be wikipedia pages no colors nothing right just black and white just information right so this is how exactly it looks if you want to convey more you have to keep updating it here okay so here see in the word document what happens enter or space will give you the next line correct here you have to use break tag break will give you the next line okay i'll again use the paragraph tag see automatically this gave me the closing tag as well right. that's why we use this editors this is the second paragraph second paragraph okay typed to test how the test how the web page how the web page looks like I'm saving it and I'm going to refresh it 
yeah the line came in correct right but what if you want to build a beautiful page like this what should you do see this is the website built by professional designers and this is the page built by all of us we are just trying to learn we are just starting correct this is how we built our web page and if you want to put more information like this you will copy and paste all this information still it will be like one single paragraph if you copy and paste all this information here anywhere it will be like just one paragraph let me show it to you so i'll reload this see correct how do we present it like this beautifully so basically now from this you understand html alone is not really helping us to build a beautiful web pages correct correct so this is just an html did you all get it right so if you have to build the web pages beautifully like this you have to use something called as css cascading style sheets css is cascading style sheet so from this what we understand is to present the content we are using html and to beautify the content we are using css css, CSS is called as cascading style sheets okay so now this is the following is a code for a simple html test page okay so I'll select this and put it in a different color. Okay, so you can change the color. Okay, I'm using this color and keeping it like this. Okay, so now the above HTML is useful to build a web page build a simple web page that doesn't look doesn't look appealing right so if you look at it it does not have the it does not have the borders correct it does not have the colors correct the alignment alignment is not appropriate correct what else do you observe as compared to this page and as compared to this what if the upskill get certified stay industry relevant and be job ready that's the text it's been used here as well and look at this how the color is how the spacing is how the image is right so now that's when so the page it does not have the borders it does not have the colors the alignment is not appropriate correct we did not apply any colors where did we apply the colors this is how it is here html uh, you can't you have to compulsorily use css there are html codes yeah but css yeah right so the above html is useful to build a simple web page that does not look appealing correct how to build beautiful web pages how to build the beautiful web pages so your web page built in html have to be also wrapped with the css cascading style sheets okay cascading style sheets so it is used to beautify your web pages yeah which takes care of alignment colors right presentation etc right so see as a digital marketer you don't have to learn css okay but in this page look at this 
there are so many CSS files built. I'll just show you how the CSS looks like. So CSS, this is CSS. You'll not understand. Yeah, but trust me. So when you look at this like this, it's difficult to understand. But when you start learning it, see HTML building web pages will be a fun. Have you ever played video games? Any games on the mobile phones? It will be something like that. It's going to be so interesting once you start building the web pages, right? And the good thing is, while it's fun for you, you will also make a earning career. So there is very good demand for HTML developers as well. They are called as so someone who writes a web pages in HTML, CSS, and there's something else which we'll be discussing are called as front end developers. Give me one second, everybody. Okay, so it, it's a very interesting uh, career as well. Okay, you can build career in front end development also if you can master these skills. And uh, there are some very good websites to practice this, uh, which takes care of alignment, color, presentation, etc. So refer to W3 schools. Okay, so this is a very good platform to practice and master HTML, CSS and JS as well. I'll tell you what is JS. Okay. So now, do you see any colors, any alignment, anything, nothing right here? Right? Now, when you build a web page using CSS, it looks like this. But CSS doesn't get the functionality on the web page. There won't be any functionality. HTML is used to present a web page CSS is used to beautify the web page whereas JavaScript is used to make the web page interactive or functional so look at this get started I'm clicking on it it is scrolling the web page and click look at this if I click explore now it will be taking you to a different web page or maybe corporate inquiry it's taking it's opening up a form here correct so I'm closing it explore the upcoming batches and Submit your preferences, whatever you click, all these functionalities are taken care by JavaScript. So what do we understand now? HTML and CSS are used to present the content and beautify it respectively, correct? Yeah, JS, JavaScript, Java, JavaScript is used to make the web page functional and functional and interactive. Got it? You all understood? JavaScript is used to make the web page functional and interactive hence the modern era web pages are the combination of HTML CSS and Java script okay and you all understood now HTML is to we'll write it again HTML to present to present the content CSS to beautify the content or web page JavaScript is to make the web page functional or interactive okay clear okay see as a digital marketer you don't have to learn you don't have to master HTML, CSS and JavaScript. But learning any skill on the earth is perfectly fine. So that will be an added advantage for you always, correct? 
you all get it correct so it's not that you should not be learning as a digital marketer you can master these skills as well you will be more valuable and you can make career in this as well okay or the more you understand about this the more the better will be the optimization of your websites yeah so see with this understanding see sometimes javascript will be the blocker for your websites optimization okay so anyways you are not going to build any web page you just have to understand these basics how the web pages are built correct you all understood now yeah okay so what is next once once the websites are built by the website developers what is next what should you be doing you have a website like this let's assume you have a website like this what should you be doing as a digital marketer so you have a website now built using html css and javascript correct what is next as a digital marketer what is your role now what will you be doing as a digital marketer see for a digital marketer the website is very important correct so that's what we understood in one of the classes previous classes what will you be doing next so there is a detailed explanation around it let me uh, take you to that section so that you all understand better yeah so once you have built like this so the website developers will be hosting it on the server they will be purchasing the domain the purchasing the hosting space they'll connect the domain and the server and they will drop all the content or information in the hosting server and you can always access it with the domain name like this see all these files are not built on the websites all this html css are built on their computers correct and then it's been uploaded to the domain like this how do they do that they'll be dropping it through the for ftp this is ftp file transfer protocol which is connected to the server and the respective folders they will put all the information in those folders or through the content management system website no 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 html will not be done through the content management system okay so through ftp only they will pass all the information the web pages yeah okay so now as a digital marketer what is your role yeah so the web page is built in html which means they have css and jss as well okay or simply the web page is built or now dropped into the hosting server which is connected to the domain name domain domain name and hence anybody can access all this web pages by just typing the typing the domain name in the address bar of the browser okay so this is browser and this is address bar this is address bar now i'll type kandra digital dot com or kandra digital dot com something like this so you can type it in the address bar directly kandra digital dot com okay you got it okay so usually so up to this stage it all will be built by the front end so full stack developers so someone who builds an application or the platform to manage your websites so maybe something like this i'll show you see look at this this is front end of learn and thrive correct now what should you be doing if you want to create a new page or maybe let, let's say you want to create a new blog post how will you do that you can build it like this in the html or the developers have created a template for you which will look like this okay this is a template the css the the structure has been developed already you can simply go here and you can publish the 
content so where is that blog engine blog yeah here articles so you don't have to write any HTML correct you simply have to click on add start this is the title so meta title this goes in the head section look at this how the developers have built it right here you just have to paste the content it's something like your word document and automatically you will get to see a page something like this right so not only this a course page let's say this course page this is called as a course right so now you are not going to build any HTML ideally speaking you have to build an HTML right but that is being simplified by building the backend for your website yeah so basically they have created one HTML page already and whatever now you publish it takes the shape of it like you must have seen right Achu Mouls Mouls no one knows here Mouls Achu Mouls Yumbo ULDS Mouls nobody knows what Mouls is This one, every time it takes the same shape, right? You don't have to individually one by one. You don't have to, uh, let's see. See now, Jaggery cubes or whatsoever, will you be creating the shape manually every time? No, right? You will put it in the mold, correct? It takes the same shape, correct? Ice cubes, you place the tray in the refrigerator, right? That is mold. The tray, ice cubes tray, that's a mold. Mold is basically anything that, that's a template to create that respective shape or format every time. Correct? So same way here, it's not called as mold, but it's called as template. And whatever you publish here, automatically it takes this shape. Okay? You are not going to write HTML, CSS, JavaScript every time. So now, so for example, let me go to this section called courses. Course list, single pages. See, I'll just update the title, meta title, meta description and couple of other details. All this, if I'm filling all these details, I'm not writing any HTML, any CSS. HTML, CSS and JavaScript is all built already and kept it at one place where automatically whatever you publish takes the shape of this right now as a digital marketer or as a website owner you don't have to write the html correct but when it comes to this website we have to write html every time because we haven't built the back end like this right so the next level is websites will have the back end so alternatively see every time the web pages can be built in the html or the HTML that has been built can be converted to a template and can be configured with your backend where you just have to publish the content and you don't have to write any kind of HTML or CSS or JavaScript. This is backend. You don't have to write any HTML. You just have to publish the content and automatically it takes this shape. Right? If not, for this I have to write so much of HTML, CSS, JavaScript. I have to write JavaScript also for this functionality. It's not compulsorily you have to build the backend. Many websites will not build the backend. Okay, so it's not compulsory. So few websites. See, for example, this is the example. We don't have any backend. If we have to build a new page like this, our developer writes an HTML again like this, or maybe he takes one of the page. Let's take this page. He duplicates. The HTML and it starts changing the content so let me show that to you so look at this this is digital marketing services correct he duplicates this HTML CSS JavaScript which looks like this he duplicates this page yeah he duplicates he duplicates this page and it starts changing digital marketing to a different text the structure has to be all same right it all the look and feel everything will be same Manually, manually, you have to change all the text or the information here. But the text will be there, only the text, text keeps, they keep changing. So if you want a new design, the complete different look and feel, the different look and feel may be something like this. 
now again he has to sit and write a new html css javascript replicating a page using this if, if you want exactly the same it again can be replicated so what i am asking is if it is maybe already there so we have to change it over there we should again write some html css you don't have to write so have to write. see everything so digital marketer first thing digital marketer don't have to write any even if it is not there even if it's a new requirement digital marketer will not write any html css javascript digital marketer will just inform to the website developer boss i want a new page to be built like this or i am going to launch a new page about privacy policy or terms and conditions or about us or contact us i want a web page to be built they will build it and give it to you okay so if you want to create exactly something like this like this but for a new service instead of digital marketing maybe you want seo training look at this even that page will look same look at this even this page is look at this this is seo training even this page is looking same so now what he does is he don't write html again he will replicate the present page and he starts changing the content and save that file as new file as seo training so we had saved it as new file as seo training now again i'll ask him to create a google ads page performance marketing again he creates a new page it's like i am duplicating your resume every time and i'm saving it my name with your name with someone else's name inside that there can be the same information now i will change your name to my name your degree to my degree correct but i'm following your resume template correct correct the same happens with the replication of your web pages as well creating a new page from the existing template as well right so now if your requirement is completely new there is no about us here if they have to create an about us they'll have to but there is no design right so when i asked you to create a resume you simply copied her resume correct now if i'm asking you to write a essay you cannot copy her resume right you are you have to again open a new document and you should start typing borders everything to it correct correct so same way when i give a requirement of contact us or about us see contact us page is different now he cannot replicate it from that page it has to be the page is not linked properly it's not working okay it's actually www dot contact us okay so now look at this this page design is different so now they will start writing the code or typing the html accordingly okay so now there is another method another option see whenever there is a new html requirement the website developers only have to do it right but if if you are creating the same kinds of pages look at this all this will follow the same design so if that's the scenario the developer thinks why should i take that headache let me give let me automate it let me simplify things for them and they will build something like it like this and you can keep updating the text only here you don't need to deal with any html just understand the details of the information to be updated and it automatically creates beautiful web pages like this it's not a new design it's from the same design see look at this all will have the same design you all got it so basically everything is automated using one of the programming language express js node js okay so this platform is built on merge stack that's a technology name it can be this backend can be built in now dotnet php python java correct ruby on rails there are different programming languages correct rice varieties you know how many rice varieties are there all are rice but there are so many varieties right same way your website backend can be built in built using any of the programming languages right so now your website front end is html css and javascript your website back end is from one of the programming language and website back end is not compulsory correct if it is not available or not there people will have to build web pages like this every time and they have to upload it to their server and if you are saving your file name as digital marketing agency and uploading it will be showing up after .com/digitalmarketingagency whatever you uploaded same way like it shows right in your computer d drive/slash 
my photos slash correct birthday photos right correct same way it follows the folder structure if i am saving in this folder slash services it will be something like this yeah okay so now the web page is built or now dropped into the hosting server which is connected to the domain name and hence anybody can access all these web pages by just typing the domain name in the address bar of the browser okay so if you need more web pages to be built you will have to write it in the html again right if your new page is same as your previous web page you can replicate and change the content anyways it's your choice you can prefer to type the html again correct it's your choice if it is same you can simply copy paste it if it is same also sometimes people that's common sense right if people cannot understand that i can simply replicate it and do it they will again start writing from scratch correct correct it's your choice okay so this process of creating same kinds of web pages structure or presentation can be automated and can can be automated using one of the programming languages such as java java script is different java is different okay python dot net php any other programming language web page can be automated using one of the programming can be automated using one of the programming languages this automated platform or system allows you to manage the content of your website and hence and hence usually referred to as the content management system cms is the short form are you all getting it now this is called as content management system because it's allowing you to manage the content for your website correct okay people alternatively call it as website backend okay people alternatively call it as website backend as well okay or just website backend okay the cms is completely a customized platform coded in one of the coded in one of the programming languages as per the functionality requirements okay so i want the functionality requirement is uh, i want titles and descriptions so accordingly people will give an option for titles and descriptions sir this is back end yeah so to create this we need java python and all not all of them one of the programming one language the, so javascript was not so there are some javascript framework the new technology so using the javascript also this backend platforms can be built okay, okay. 
pick what option? See, automation is so if you are doing something repetitively again and again. Now, building a simplified solution for it where you don't have to do it, which automatically generates or creates or publishes, it, auto, it, it automatically performs by itself. You don't have to manually iterate it every time. Okay, that is automation. Okay, yeah. So now these web pages are created. See, now like this, the front end web pages are created from this. So, as we like normal people, we can create a web page. So normal people, it's not it's about not normal like, or abnormal. If you are learning like HTML, CSS, JavaScript, yeah, you can create a web page. Yeah. So if I am learning this three, I can learn how to create a web page, but not backend. Only. Backend again, you have to learn one of the programming language. Programming See, learning all these are also not really difficult. Okay. People find it difficult. Few people find it not. It's not difficult for everybody. For few people, it's a fun. I told you right it's like playing video games see building all this it's a fun for few people for few, see it's not just about learning the programming language so analytically you have to be strong you, you should have very good problem solving skills correct so so your mind has to be exceptionally sharp to simplify the things so basically this automation is what is automation problem solving skill you are simplifying the things in your automation correct Right. So it's not that you, you or me or any, anybody can learn. Anybody can learn it. Just that few people find it difficult, depending on their how they nurture their skills, their interest. See, somebody who is good with mathematics find it super easy. The moment they learn some of these tags, like how we learned HTML, open tag, close tag. So in this programming language also, there are so there is a HTML language. Is something like Java, like, JavaScript, yeah, or yeah, like not used to all these yeah, that's called as front end the pro, uh, scripting languages. The back end scripting languages again PHP, so Python, okay. Ruby on Rails, .NET. There are hundreds of programming languages, tens of programming languages. So, yeah, so using that, you have to build. See, back end is again not compulsory for website. If you are learning web for HTML, CSS, JavaScript, you can start building. See, this, this doesn't have back end. Only HTML. It's not compulsory, right? It's not compulsory. You can build a home and you can ignore interior. So backend is just for safer side. Not safer side to automate, to automate, to, to manage, to give control. See, I'll, I'll write that as well. The website backend or content management system is to give a control to you control to you over your website to manage content manage content is edit delete or add any new piece of content, content. it allows you to create the web pages without any use of HTML. Yeah, tell me now. So in backend, we can just edit or delete any sort of information that we want to put or we want to edit. But if there is anything which is like we want to add, so we have to go to front end and then say, okay, no, 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 no. Once it is created, create it. So anything it should be done, it should be done through backend. So for example now, I want to change this PAL certification training to PAL certification yeah. course training. I can simply go, I can, I can, I'll show it to you. Uh, where is the back end? Yeah. So courses. Click on edit. So look at this.
yeah so now i can say remove this training term yeah or i can do any other changes that i want okay so you can do the changes or if you want to create a new course let's say you want to create a new course called seo or social media marketing training you can go simply click on course list or here and add a new course this is accessible on our website website owner see website owner see you have built a home right your house will be accessible only for you right you will own the keys you will own everything you will not let anybody to trespass your home right yeah oh, so it's uh, like that okay you all understood right so it's exactly so take your offline examples if you are building a house your house also has you you will will anybody be allowed to trespass your house you will have the key control everything i saw your no, no, no. i'm just i took this moment to convey a couple of other details it's not about you okay you all got it right yeah so the website backend or cm cms content management system allows you to it, it gives you a control it gives you a control to you it gives a control to you over your website to manage content edit delete or add any new pieces of content it allows to create the web pages without any use of html okay so this is what the main purpose of your actually html is only creating the website web pages to create the web pages after creating web pages we can use the content of the website Okay, you all understood, right? Up to here. Yeah, let's back in this okay. So next, so so far we were in an assumption that websites are built using HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and then to manage this content, you need a backend, yeah. correct? So when you have a backend, so you are updating the content. So, for example, here you are updating the content, correct? Mm -hmm. So, even before it displays it here in the front end, okay, it has to be stored. It has to be stored, okay? So, when it is stored, that's when it will be displayed. You cannot see, otherwise, you will put it here and you will click on submit or create a course. So it can create a page, but most of the times, uh, in case if the web page has dynamic information or the content changing, right? So it will have a copy of this information on the database. Okay. So websites, so dynamic websites. So dynamic websites where the content is reused or dynamic websites need a database as well connected to the website okay where the information will be pulled from the db and db database displayed on the front end wherever so the content the content is stored only once and at one place but then on the front end it can be displayed on multiple pages wherever needed okay so for example pal certification training right slash india slash india has come here and all this information is exactly the same information like that of the parent page 
So all this information is stored at, on database. Now they can be pulled into Slash India onto the Slash Bangalore page. You all got it? So we are submitting the information only once in the backend. You are submitting this information and you will click on create a course. And now this is creating nearly 700 city pages like this. Automatically, you all understand now how the content management system is useful. So if you have to create 700 pages, think of the amount of time it takes. Now just within seconds, the moment you submit, create a course, it automatically creates, it automatically creates 700 plus pages. You see 756 pages. This 756 pages were not created one by one. We just created this page and it automatically created all these pages by itself with optimized titles and descriptions. You see Bangalore here. Professional Agile Leadership Training Certification in Bangalore. Correct? All this, you see here Bangalore. All this information automatically populated on the web pages. Just in fraction of seconds, it created 700 plus pages. And in total, if you have to look at the total number of pages created, all these pages can be created in just few minutes. Now think of creating 43,000 web pages on your website. How much time it would take? Year? More than a year? And, and not just about that, you think of the mistakes that could be happening while you are manually doing it. Correct? You understand the importance of the backend now, automating it now? Yes, yeah. Useful. Especially for larger websites like this. So where there is larger websites is all about necessity. You have necessity or requirement to create so many web pages and hence you need a backend. So see front end is front end is what is display what is being made accessible to the public and what you see. Okay. And now in order to make this happen, in order to display all of this, you are creating a control. In order to manage all this content or information, see front end is nothing but your website that's exposed to the public or to on the to the internet, right? And the content or information, whatever you see, it's all managed from your backend. Sir, so if it's the same content, only Bangalore can show. Yes. That one is changed. Changing. So same in the sense, there is a difference. Yeah, you see here, the automatically Bangalore term has come here as well. Respective page related meta tags have come. So, anywhere here, if it is Bangalore, it will change to Mysore. Anywhere in the. Yes, yes. Now you type to Mysore, it will be Mysore. Yeah. Not just here, even in the bottom here. Okay. And here it's completely different from page to page. This is different. This is also different from page to page. This is, we call it as interlinking block, and this is also different from page to page. Sanjay, you understood front end and back end? Okay. You are asking what is the difference between river and ocean? Okay. Okay, so back end is basically to manage content of your website. Front end is something that is displayed to the public, written in the HTML, CSS, JavaScript. Okay. Right. And to manage all this content or information, you can use backend. Sir, according to you, which is the best program to manage that you can learn for backend? For backend. You tell there are many, like Java, Python, mm -hmm. and all those. So the best in terms of ease to learn, or the best in terms of uh, advanced features, or yeah. maybe the security or, or the, there are different ways. See, the best can be defined in multiple ways. So ease to learn, I really don't know. I haven't learned any programming language. .NET is one which some 12, 13 years back or 15 years back, I tried learning, but I have completely forgot. So now you see all these websites usually they're built on React. Okay. So the backend. So that's again JavaScript. See, if you're learning JavaScript, building backend on this React, Express Node.js is also super easy. See, the backend is not only now on the programming language PHP. JavaScript has multiple frameworks. 
the back end can also be built on javascript yeah and javascript frameworks are react express node these are used to build the back end again okay so learn if you are learning javascript the same like javascript only you will be using express node react okay so focus on learning html css javascript the back end can also be learned simply it's called as you can you can learn mon stack m e r n mon is mongo db you have to learn db as well right because information is pulled from database you should know how to use db how to connect with the db correct mon is m e r n m is mongo db e is express js r is react n is node js all are javascript frameworks only okay okay so you all understood right can you mention the javascript languages pdf here javascript languages okay so question so what is the or uh, instead of typing the question okay learn mon stack it's a full stack full stack development course okay which allows you to build the front end and the back end okay so mon is not may not be easy javascript is all tricky but it might need rigorous practice and you will be able to learn it's not that you cannot learn you and i am thinking of learning this we have a team here so all these applications are built by our team okay so we we have this course as well we we are teaching mon stack we are teaching various other courses ui ux so one more thing i forgot to tell you uh see to design this you have to conceptualize first right how will you build this see we, uh, we, we will you straight away go and start building a house you will get a design layout plan from architect right exactly there is something like that in building the website as well that's called as ui ux designing so ui ux designing is a mock up of how your website should look like that's like a image and that will be converted to html okay so i'll add that as well here okay so how to build beautiful web pages sir so this is how i related to jason so this is something which is very good no no it's this understanding is very crucial it's something like i'm teaching you some poetry here let's assume i'm teaching you all some poetry here and in order to learn poetry we have to learn forming the sentences to form sentences we have to learn forming the words from alphabets and to form the words we have to learn the alphabets and while we are learning alphabets you cannot tell this is nowhere related to poetry correct without alphabets will you be able to form the words what is the spelling of cat you have to learn alphabets you learn cat words so now multiple such words you can form the sentence correct and from next level sentence to poetry correct so this skills understanding you don't have to master learn html css javascript but this knowledge is super important yeah so i will add it here as well okay how to build beautiful web pages the website the information or content the information or the content for which the website to be built has to be has to be first 
developed a mockup and the save will be converted to HTML web pages, right? The information of the content for which the websites to be built to be first developed as a mockup, which is called as UI UX designing, okay? And the same will be converted to UI is user interface something that you can see by your eyes such as the colors font styles font sizes alignment borders etc something that you can see by your eyes is user interface okay ux is user experience that you experience with the website for example a click leads you to a cart page or to an about us page or a pop-up pops up on the web page all these are functionalities that you experience with the website you understood what is ui ux so this thing has to be conceptualized first this all ha was conceptualized a form has to a get started button has to be there on the website and when you click on it it has to come to so and so section right the color has to be blue okay the font face you all know right times roman calibre different different fonts right so finalizing that finalizing the sizes right something that you see by your eyes is user interface understood all of you first a mock up of that has been developed right and then and then the same is converted to html right this is what the usual process with building the websites okay right see now if you have to build the website you have to learn all of the skills if you're not learning will you not be able to build a website you definitely won't be able to build a website if you're not learning these skills however there is other alternative of building the website very easily by everybody all of you in this room can easily build the websites which we are going to learn in tomorrow's class. Just in few clicks, just like that, you can build the websites. You don't have to write HTML. You don't have to learn about the database. You don't have to build the backend. Nothing. We will learn this in tomorrow's class. Yeah?